Hello, Scorpios. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the last week in March. This reading is for all of my Scorpios out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the last week in March. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If this reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome. If you like the video, you like the way I do my readings, hit the thumbs up image so that this video circulates to others that may need clarity, enlightenment, or a kind word. Also, subscribe to the channel if you have not and you want to show some support. Hit the notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are posted. And we are going to start pulling the cards for your reading, Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, what is the energy for my Scorpios? Okay, a jumper. The Three of Pentacles. What is the energy for the sign of Scorpio? Okay. You have the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces energy, the Nine of Cups. This is the energy. Okay. We have the Queen of Swords in a reverse, the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, I was just eight. Okay, the three of swords. Just the energy for my Scorpios. Sun, rising, and Venus. Okay. The wheel is Sagittarius, Pisces energy. The Six of Swords, and we have the Queen of Pentacles, okay? The Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Some of you want to work on a marriage or a family situation with this Ten of Cups and this Three of Pentacles. Some of you want to work on a situation regarding a family or something like that. You wanna do what you want in this situation, but I feel like it's not the right time. I, I'm hearing that someone doesn't trust you, but this person is your wish fulfillment. There's a lack of trust in this situation, but this person is your wish fulfillment. This person may have cut you off in the past, but I feel like you're going to end up working things out with this Eight of Pentacles here. You're going to work things out if with this Eight of Pentacles because I feel like this breakup caused some type of um, sadness. Some of you may have needed help from someone else. Like maybe a doctor or something a physician this this separation could have um also allowed you to let go of the past and gave you time to heal from misunderstandings and also to be with people that need you or needed you Could have caused some type of heartbreak. But now it's coming back together. I see you're trying to work on it. Because a cycle has ended for you. And a new one has begun. You're moving to a place of peace and harmony. With this will and this six of swords. 
Some of you may have come into some money with this Queen of Pentacles. Or you may know your worth now. Could be you, could be your partner. A pride of energy as it fits to your story. If this is not your reading, do not try to make it fit. Let's pull some cards for your, your partner's energy. See what's going on with them. <clears throat> Again, remember the energy could go vice versa. This could be you. This could be them. Only you know your story. Comment below and let me know if this is your situation as well. I'd like to hear feedback. Okay. Yeah. See, someone has a decision to make. And what is the decision? Why is there two of wands here? Someone has to make a decision pertaining to reconnecting and bringing stability back into this union. But therefore, uh, because see, you're you're trying to reconnect the family, and this person is making a decision. They're deciding on if they want to do that or not. Why is this four of wands here? You two may not be talking much at this time. If you are, it's not like a flowing conversation. Okay, I see two kings here. So this person may have a decision to make between two people. And maybe that's why they're not coming right back in. Yeah, see, they're not taking action. Page of Wands in the reverse. They're not taking action because of the decision. With their two of cups. I feel like this person loves you, but... They may feel like the situation is dead with the, with the death card. They may be transforming. Or the situation needs to be worked on. In order for it to transform into something else. Yeah, the world card. So you may be dealing with an Aquarius, a Leo, another Scorpio, or a Taurus. I feel like you two are at a distance from each other emotionally, but this person may, um, you may see them as a wish fulfillment or they see you as a wish fulfillment. Either you make them happy or they make you happy. Leo's energy is here, but someone may be immature coming in with um like a small token of love and just maybe want some passion with this ace of um wands and maybe that's why this person is like on a fence about it yeah see we have the knight of wands the player energy so that's why things are moving slow with the knight of pentacles this person is taking their time because they know they know um what's going on yeah they're up in their head because they were disappointed, felt like felt like they were backstabbed, and they may have spoke spoken their truth and overcame those obstacles. And now I feel like this person is working on themselves, waiting to be rewarded. Yeah, will of fortune. Um, they have will of fortune in you, so I feel like a cycle has ended in both of your life as well as theirs. And now this person is moving on to something that's true and honest. Yeah. See, after a heartbreak, this person is focusing on their finances at this time. Because they feel like someone is a snake. They feel like someone is immature. And they're going to cause disappointments. So I don't see the, this person. Yeah, they know their worth. Someone is not revisiting this. And if they do, it's going to take a long, long time because the situation probably was toxic with that double energy. Yep, it's going to take a long time. <clears throat> Let's see what advice spirit has for you, Scorpio. Someone was toxic in this union spirit. What advice do you have for the sign of Scorpio? What advice do you have for my Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the last week in March. Okay. Okay.
consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. So folks, some of you may need to, some of you may be focusing on buying a new house or moving, moving in together with someone. This person may have lots of animals, I see. <laughs> and you need to treasure and appreciate your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. It's not all about you. Okay? So, Scorpios, this is your reading. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Be safe. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye.